And it'll be a beautiful evening to get out and enjoy what other events uh, may be happening tonight or even just in your backyard enjoying dinner outside on the patio. Uh, we've got more of this summer preview coming. In fact, it feels a lot more like late June going into tomorrow without that summer mugginess. So gorgeous conditions with a little more heat coming over the next 24 hours. Then 48 hours from now, we're keeping an eye out for strong storms, possibly some heavy rainfall going into Friday. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. In the meantime, though, close to 80 degrees for most spots under a bright sunny sky, humidity nice and low, so you don't have to worry about the mugginess, just a light breeze out of the south to help cool you off, looking at gorgeous conditions over the rest of today. In fact, we stay close to 80 over the next hour, then dipping into the 70s even after sunset. So if you want to go out and catch that sunset, you'll have a clear sky and warm conditions to enjoy through the evening hours. And then tonight, down into the low 50s under a partly cloudy sky, as yet again, the weather stays quiet and mild for yet another night in a row. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we're back to sunny conditions, light breeze out of the southeast. The big change, though, more spots getting into the low 80s, jumping up another hand full of degrees over today, possibly as much as five more degrees warmth. Uh, so we are looking at beautiful conditions just around the corner with a preview again of that summer heat without the humidity. In fact, uh, normally we're in the upper 60s around this time of year. So today we were a handful of degrees above average. Tomorrow, as you can see, plenty above average uh, by a good 10 degrees, if not more. Not record breaking, though, is a year ago we were going through a stretch in the 90s. Uh, that was a couple days in a row in early May of last year. So we won't be close to record territory, but again, we're getting a nice little preview of summer conditions uh, as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Then we'll keep an eye on Friday. There is a threat for severe weather right now. One out of five, so it's fairly low and includes most of northern Illinois. You can see southern Wisconsin, though, kind of on the edge there, likely outside of that risk. It's mostly for flooding rainfall, though hail and damaging winds may be in play, too. You look at featured track. Here we are going into early Friday morning. We're looking at some light showers there, and then there is a narrow window for some storms. Right now, future track indicating possibly late Friday morning. Into the afternoon, we start to dry out, and then we have clear weather going into Friday night. Could see a repeat of all this, not necessarily the severe weather, but on and off showers and storms over the remainder of the weekend. Uh, so after hitting the 80s, we're back down again on Friday. Could be a little warmer by Saturday, but we'll keep an eye out for a chance for storms late in the day. And then Sunday, on and off showers, definitely the cool day of this stretch as we're back into the upper 60s. Next week, more dry weather and warmth with highs in the mid 70s. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, the weather does remain close to those values throughout next week. Got a lot of dry and sunny weather ahead. So if you miss getting outside today, you got plenty more opportunities to do so, especially by next week.